Where I Can Meet the Lord and the Angels, Part 2, Reverend Dr. Holly Namokyun, United Methodist Church, Translator, Mrs. Irene Park, Reader, Mr. Jacob Lee. This video is made by Reverend Dr. Holly Namokyun Lee, who is a minister of the United Methodist Church. She got a degree of Doctor of Ministry at Claremont Theological Seminary in California. She is an Executive Director of Menowa Ministry. She carries a healing ministry. She is an author of 40 books and led 1,000 revival services and over 200 seminars for ministers. Now, she lives in California with her husband Reverend Peter Yongtek Lee. She is the fourth daughter of Dr. Sung Bong Yun, former president of Methodist Theological University in Seoul, Korea. Where there is repentance. But let man and the beast be covered with sackcloth and cry mightily to God. Yes, let everyone turn from his evil way and from the violence that is in his hands. Jonah 3 verse 8. When the Pharisees wanted to see the signs and wonders, I said there is only the sign of Jonah. The actual reason behind the repentance of Nineveh after hearing the sermon of Jonah was because I was there with them. When one stands before me, repentance takes place. When encountered before my word, people repent. When one stands before my presence, one realizes own identity as a sinner as Peter did. When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. Luke 5 verse 8. Job also repented before me. The fact that repentance actually occurred means that my holy presence faced them. Where there is healing and deliverance. But if I cast out demons by the Spirit of God, surely the kingdom of God has come upon you. Matthew 12, verse 28. The most effective way to show people about my manifestation is at the site of healing and deliverance. Healing and deliverance proves the presence of the divine being at the scene. When the troops of Michael, angels came down and drove out the evil spirits, such signs and wonders take place where I am present. Wherever I went, miracles followed. That was because the power of heavenly anointing came down. The meaning of evil spirits flee is that I am on site and devils are too feeble to fight back. The meaning of healing actually happening is that the power of heaven, the power of healing and I, who gives salvation, am present at the scene. Because I am the anointed, the very Messiah. For the isolated. Now a certain man was there who had an infirmity 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had already had been in that condition a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be made well? John 5, verse 5 and 6. Serving the smallest one is actually serving me because I stay with the isolated. In order to meet me, you ought to come out to the pond in Bethesda and not Sanhedrin Council. I become friends to the poor in spirit, to those who are alone with no one around to help, and to those who have been living quarantine from the society for a long time. You will meet me at such places as well. In churches where they alienate the strange, I do not exist there because serving the isolated, serving a small person is the same as serving me. I was sacrificed on the cross for such small ones as well. 
when you accompany two miles. If anyone wants to sue you and take away your tunic, let them have your cloak also. And whoever compels you to go one mile, go with him too. Matthew 5, verse 40 and 41. I stay with the person who accompanies two miles when asked to go one mile and who gives even the cloak when asked to give a tunic. Everybody can accompany one mile, but in order to accompany two miles, you need my assistance. It is a human limitation to walk one mile together. To walk two miles is above one's ability. In order to walk two miles together, you need my sacrifice, service, and assistance. You cannot see me at the end of one mile, but you will find me at the end of two miles. At the destination of two miles, I am there. Where the heaven is achieved. I and the angels are holy beings whom you cannot see with your physical eyes. We illuminate such bright light that if you see us, you will be blinded like Apostle Paul. That light is the light of holiness and purity. The holy and pure cannot sit with the lewd. It is also impossible for them to be with Satan's servant. They can only stay together where God's light, glory, and sovereignty reigns. If you can see the light of holy presence, it is because your heart has become that much pure. Where God reigns, the heaven on earth, I also exist joyfully. At the Community United in Love Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Make every effort to keep the unity of the spirit through the bond of peace. There is one body and one spirit. Just as you were called to one hope when you were called. Ephesians 4, verse 2 through 4. I am nowhere to be found where there are fights. Both opponents insist that I am on their side, but I never take sides in fights. The spirit is one. The body of Christ is one. Even husband and wife are united in love. No matter how good the initial motivation might be, all fights are from Satan. Satan loves division. I never cause any division in churches and families. I neither interfere nor involve in such matters. I go to the communities where they are united in love. I love to anoint them and I love to be with them because I am love. Lord, by the way, how is the holy temple constructed in us? You also, as living stones, are being built up a spiritual house, a holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. First Peter 2 verse 5. You said you reside in us. I am curious how the spiritual house is built in us. If the spiritual house is constructed, you can always reside in us. Please tell us how. You have written a book on that subject, haven't you? When the spiritual house is constructed in your heart, you become a temple as well as a priest. I will teach someday for you to understand easily. For now, when you meet Jesus who is the way, the truth, and the life, the way, the truth, and the life will be erected in you and eventually built into a house where I can reside. I will explain one by one in more detail. Then you will realize that you have already been built into a spiritual house. Lord, thank you. I am anticipating. Please open up the revelation about the spiritual house.
Lord, help us be at the right place. Blessed is the man who walks in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. Psalm 1, verses 1 and 2. Dear God, the reason that we could not meet you nor feel you was probably because we were at the wrong place. You are present where there is praise, prayer, the word, your sovereignty, your sacrifice, your healing and deliverance, but we must be somewhere else. Forgive us for having sought you away from you in our church home and even individually. Help us to become holy temples and show us the way to be built into a spiritual house where you can always stay joyfully. Redeem our time and space. Help us not to waste any time where you are not present. Help us to become the priests of holy temples so that we may invite you joyfully as well as you desire to meet us with gladness. In Hebrew, menua is an adjective that describes being restful. We use the term menua as a noun. Please hit the subscribe button for Yunnamok TV, News from Heaven. Thank you for watching this video.